This is how an average day begins for Laura Good. You're loading up your computer and looking at all of the emails that came in overnight. <laughs> so generally there's quite a few. Responding to those emails is just one part of her job as Director of Human Resources for custom home builder Schumacher Homes. Her main responsibility is acting as a liaison between the employer and employees. For example, this morning, I had three payroll questions, I had five PTO requests, I had a few life insurance requests, and then some of the supervisors have asked me for assistance in helping with employee relations with a couple of problems that they may have out there. So, and that was just between 7.30 and 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Laura spends most of her time in her office, communicating by email, phone, or in person. But no matter how much work she has to do, she always leaves her door open, encouraging others to stop in. People come in just to unload some days, and people need to have a place where it's safe. You know, and during those conversations, if I hear something that is wrong, I will tell the employee, hey, listen, I'm going to take this to the next level because what you're telling me shouldn't be happening. And it's my responsibility to protect the people, bring the issues that may be there to the higher ups, and then let's just talk about it and see what we can resolve. She says the employees are her customers and they always come first. The people are why we do what we do. And, you know, for human resources, you must have that passion to want to help somebody and know that you're going to have some very long days, you know, ahead of you. Schumacher Homes is a company with 325 employees nationwide, and when it comes to all the duties and responsibilities of being in human resources, it's up to Laura and just one other person. My other person usually takes care of all of the payroll uh, and all of the math related to it, whereas I take care of all of the strategy, all of the benefits, and all of the recruiting. She says the number of people in HR varies by company, but it's usually one HR person per 150 people. And then depending on how large the company, HR is usually broken into sometimes three different factors. You've got your payroll side, you have your benefits side, and then you have your recruiting side. There are different paths to take to get to the position Laura has today, but it all starts with a four-year degree, a strong foundation in math, and working your way up from the bottom. Because if you come into a position of an HR manager right out of school, it's going to be very difficult for you to gain buy-in because you have no experience to pull it all together. Take speech classes and take any business class that will get you there. Focus on accounting because also part of what I do is I've got to be able to run a budget. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, a median salary for a human resources manager is $99,720 a year. Working in human resources at a construction company like Laura can be much different from other companies. Part of her job involves recruiting a variety of positions and levels of experience. In the accounting role, you have to have some previous experience. You've got to have that college degree. You have to know how to do math. <laughs> you have to know how to read an income statement and generate one. However, when it comes to recruiting on the construction side, education isn't always a priority. If you're looking for a pipe fitter, show me how you can do the pipe fitting. If you're looking for someone to frame a home, you're going to look at what they've done in the past. For Laura, watching the people she has recruited grow is one of the greatest rewards. I've had the opportunity to recruit very green people in uh, who have not uh, a lot of experience coming in the door. I have four people that I brought in through various companies that are now vice presidents in other companies. And, you know, it, I take pride in that because they have all come back to me and said, thank you for giving me the opportunity.